dressed up. We got damn near a zero tape pressure. About five, six line pressure. Y'all hear that goddamn air leak? Show y'all where it's coming from. Excuse me, I'm back here unloading fucked up tank. Basically, uh, last night I dropped my trail off. You know, the pipe broke. Picked up uh, the owner operator's uh, trailer, the one that took off. Said he wanted to make six figures. He on vacation for two weeks. And uh, I hooked up to his trailer. Got loaded this morning. Y'all saw the clip, we got loaded. Well, I'm here on the well. Can't build no damn pressure. I'm like, is the gauge just fucked up? The tank pressure ain't moving. I'm trying shit and trying shit. Won't work. Trying shit, trying shit. Won't work. Switch it up. Trying shit, trying shit. It ain't working. So I go over here to my buddy over here. He on the operator over here. I asked him, I said, hey man, I... I don't know what's going on. The, the gauge has got to be broke. He come take a look at it. Start trying shit, trying shit. Won't work. Switched it up. <laughs> and uh, he did something. And uh, he did something trying to build more air. And I started hearing all this air. And I look up, put my hand around the tank, trying to figure out if it's air something coming out. Sure enough, I feel air coming out. I look up, it's a big ass hole. And uh, that's where all the air is going. It's not going to be on no pressure because all the air's got a hole in the tank. <laughs> you ain't repairing that today. <laughs> that right there got to be welded. Uh, you can't put no JB weld sealed on that. I mean, that's got to be welded. That's got to go to the shop. So, what I'm going to do is. It's still one low, and it's just going to take, you know, about three, four hours. I'm uh, I'm going to have to go back to the shop, drop this trail off. They're going to they gonna have to uh, do the weld, and I, I don't know how to weld, so they're going to have to do that. I'm going to go back to my old trailer, and uh, I got the Swift driver. He's going he gonna to come down. He's going to come down to the shop, and me and him, we're going we gonna to fix that pipe on the other trailer. We're going to try to get it back up up and running, you know, he got some tools on him. I got a little bit of tools in here. We just gonna fish the pipe, try to get it back up. And uh, if we can get that trailer running, we ain't had two trailers going. And uh, we should be good. So that's, that's that's the only plan I got, cause I can't weld that damn trailer, man. I ain't never did no welding classes or nothing like that. I ain't got the equipment. I could probably go to Walmart and get some, but I don't know if Walmart will sell something like that. Uh, today's Sunday too, so uh, I know it's Super Bowl day. You know I could, I could say fuck it, go watch the Super Bowl somewhere in Powell or some shit. I think the Super Bowl ain't it's nighttime anyway. But instead, Andrew, Andrew got to get the trailers fixed so we can make some damn money, man. You can't make no money with no trailer. I mean, even though this trailer fucked up, it's a 1998. It's still making money though, right? Y'all, you catch it still making money, right? Yeah, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> still making money. Uh, my other trailer, yeah, the pipe was fucked up. <laughs> still made the money. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the pipe fucked up. They signed the paperwork, didn't they? All right, then. We got paid. Yeah, we couldn't pick up another load, but we got paid. You know, Halliburton, know, they don't motherfucking know there's a hole inside of my tank. Even though it's loud as hell out there, they don't know it. You know, I'm collecting the tension man at this point because it's going to take so long to unload it. Back in a three to seven peak, the mechanics did a good job. They ain't really do a 
a good job. They did a good job, though. Steering wheel just kind of get a little bit tight on me. Just so they know, you know, today is Sunday, Super Bowl day, February 4th. Steering wheel getting a little bit tight on me now. I thought I'd let y'all know in this video. I know y'all going to see it anyway. Yeah, it's tightening back up on me. Yeah. We're going we to have to talk about that. It's costing too much money at this point. When it did three, three, or uh, what was it called? Three steering wheel pumps or fluid pumps. Might have to take it to a dealership. Uh, I'm going to have to, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, uh, I ain't got no air conditioner. We need some air. We ordered the damn condenser part. We just need to get that motherfucker put on. I know what y'all thinking, Andrew, oh no, nah, don't tell me you finna have to fix the trailer. Shouldn't you go to the Zoom Tie Guys, take a little bit of big ass pay cut? Should I go to the Zoom Tie Guys, take a big ass pay cut is what they want to know. I know that's how most truck drivers. If y'all was in this position, y'all would have quit. I'd be if y'all be to quit. I don't know. It, maybe one percent of y'all would stay. So y'all got to think. If y'all want to come out here make two, three thousand dollars like Andrew, I mean, I'm not saying you go. It's, it's easy work. <laughs> Better get some mechanic skills here. I know. I know what you're thinking. I'm not a mechanic, and neither was Andrew. Until he got in the oil field, and the oil field made him somewhat of a mechanic. I'm learning, you know, I, I learned what a screwdriver do and, and what a damn wrench do. I ain't never used tools like that before. Oh, and for God's sake, man, do not copy me just because you see me unloading the trailer and sitting in the truck and not having no mask on. Don't. Not, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> do not go to the well and try and copy Andrew. They're going to kick your ass off. They're going to ban you, and then you're going to be fucked up. So don't be trying to copy me, man. But Andrew, how are you getting away with it? Because my name is Andrew. Damn it, boy. I'm gonna check on it in a minute. Uh, I need to eat first. I need a, uh, I need a spoon, man. I don't know if I got some spoons or forks. Give me a second. Thanks for being patient. I had to find me a phone. <laughs> A four mil spoon. I had to find a spoon. We got Andrew got his laptop back here on the bed. That's what that's what he had these videos. I guess I put this on the end. It was already made 17 minutes, but I didn't know this was gonna happen. So I guess I tossed this on the end of that 17 minute clip. Turn that bitch into what is this? Eight minutes. Y'all gonna get a 30 minute clip today, boy. I might wanna wait till after the Super Bowl to release this, cause that's gonna kill the views right there. A lot of y'all getting ready for the Super Bowl party. My head's around here working on some goddamn trucking equipment. Never would I have thought I would miss, well, I ain't gonna miss it, but I may miss the beginning of the first quarter. That's about it, you know. Patriots going in anyway. I don't even like I'm missing some shit. We already know the Patriots going in. It's like a dull moment. Who they facing? The Eagles? That's the Swift Travels team. Me from Philly. Uh oh, I'm to have to go down there and bet them. Had to make sure it wasn't hot. Yeah, I'm to place a bet.
I need to go out here and check this shit. Y'all wanna come with me? Don't copy me now. They gonna fire your ass. So you came out to the oil field, you were making 25% and the trailer fucked up on you. Would you quit or would you try to fix it? Y'all let me know in the comment sections down below so we can make some better decisions in the future. In the future. 